All right, what it do, what it do with your girl Riot X with the Riot X show, baby ski we. And um today I have a good, wonderful message coming from me and coming from my man's Gary V. It's a good little motivation for people under 25 and slowly, basically people under 25 to 30. And here's the Having it out. figured out by 25, 27, 30 is ridiculous. Life is about perspective. At 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28 years old, I was stocking shelves and ringing up people for wine purchases at a liquor store. Most people in their early 20s, greatest mistake is not understanding how young they are. Most of your parents have not had it figured out ever, let alone at 22, 23. Take a breath. Be grateful that you're alive and are watching this video. Gratitude of what you have versus crying about what you don't have. Yeah, so y'all probably wondering why why the fuck I was even, you know, just, you know, probably why the fuck I even wanted to even give y'all that message. But, you know, a lot of things have been stressing me out, like just just life in general just gets in the way. And I thought this would be a good message for those of you struggling with a lot of things going on in your life and another thing is I would like to share with you I also have a clip it this is five ways to become your god self take a look five ways you could become the god version of yourself disclaimer this shit don't happen overnight it takes time and consistency so let's get started junk food red meat milk wheat eggs cheese Sugar. All this shit is your kryptonite. This is electrical food. You're an electrical god. A being of light. So screenshot this and base your diet off of this. Meditating, grounding, and sun gazing. You can do all three of these at the same time as shown in the picture above. This connects you to the inner source, which is God. Do exercise mentally, spiritually, and physically. You gotta portray that guy physique so you can give off God-like energy. Just look at them, God-like energy. Push yourself to the limits. Every time you push yourself to the limits, you start having breakthroughs. Keep you some crystals. Iron Man ain't Iron Man without his suit. Crystals protect you from spiritual kryptonite. Yes, 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 yes. So for those of you that celebrate Columbus Day, what the fuck? That's all I'm finna say. But anyway, we're going to call it Indigenous People Day. And we're today I'm going to talk about how Columbus was a murderer, rapist, genocidal maniac who was put into prison when he went back to Spain for the atrocities he committed in the Americas. Take a look at this video. Christopher Columbus was not the first to discover the Americas, nor was he the first to realize that the Earth is round. He was the first, however, in other exploits, namely genocide and the transatlantic slave trade. In 1492, Columbus discovered the Americas when he landed in Haiti and several islands in the Caribbean. The Arawak Indians inhabited these islands. For the second voyage to Haiti, the following year, 1493, Ferdinand and Isabella gave him the resources needed to subdue the population. When he returned to Haiti, Columbus demanded food, gold, and cotton thread, and was increasingly met with resistance. This resistance gave him the opportunity he needed to declare war on the Arawaks. With twenty hunting dogs, Horses and guns, Columbus set upon the Arawaks, tearing them up with dogs and mowing them down with volleys of bullets and running them over with horses. Reporting back to Queen Isabel of Spain, Columbus boasted, In the name of the Holy Trinity, we can send from here all the slaves that Brazil will hold. The Spaniards hunted Indians for sport and murdered them for dog food. 
Columbus would reward his officers with women to rape. Girls 10 to 12 were especially desired for rape. Columbus and the Spanish won the war, and over three million Arawaks were killed in the genocide. They completely robbed the land of its gold. This is the truth about Columbus that's not recorded in your history books. On the other hand, most Americans know today is Columbus Day, at least in 47 states, although Hawaii has renamed it Discoverer's Day after the original Polynesians who populated that island thousands of years ago. South Dakota calls it Native American Day, and Alaska just ignores it like they kind of do everything. But what we're really celebrating today is Taino Genocide Day, the day when Christopher Columbus began to wipe out an entire indigenous population in a way that would even make Pol Pot blush. In 1492, Columbus was on a manic hunt for gold when he set sail and eventually landed on a small island off the coast of North and South America, an island today named Hispaniola, which is split between the nations of Haiti and the Dominican Republic. As Columbus wrote in a letter to the King and Queen of Spain, gold is most excellent, gold constitutes treasure, and he who has it does all he wants in the world and can even lift souls up to paradise. But when he landed in what he called the New World, there wasn't much gold to be found. But he did find something he thought was just as good as gold. People who, in Columbus's mind, would make great slaves. So he wrote to the Spanish monarchs, They are well built, with good bodies and handsome features. They do not bear arms and do not know them, for I showed them a sword, and they took it by the edge and cut themselves out of ignorance. They have no iron. Their spears are made of cane. They would make fine servants. With 50 men, we could subject them all and make them do whatever we want. And here there are so many of these slaves. Although they are living things, they are as good as gold. What Columbus did to the island and the tragedy he brought to the native population there has been largely erased by time and replaced by a glorified story of a bold explorer, explorer who set out to change the planet. In reality, though, as a result of what we've learned from writings by Christopher Columbus's own men, he raped, pillaged, enslaved, and slaughtered people just to get rich. Not exactly the type of guy worthy of a Main Street parade. One of Columbus's crewmen, Miguel Sueno, or Cueno, excuse me, uh, described the scene when Columbus first arrived in Hispaniola for the second time, and thousands of Tainos, or what were referred to as Indians, came out to greet the ships. Guina wrote, when our caravels were to leave for Spain, we gathered 1,600 male and female persons of these Indians. For those who remained, we let it be known to the Spaniards in the vicinity that anyone who wanted to take some of them could do so to the amount desired, which was done. Guina went on to write that he took his own sex slave, a beautiful teenage girl who, in his words, quote, resisted with all her strength, quote, end quote, leaving him no other choice but to, quote, thrash her mercilessly and rape her." End quote. And when Columbus's men did good work, Columbus routinely presented them with their very own sex slaves. But that was just the beginning. Columbus eventually started up a global sex, child sex slave trade, exporting Indians all around the world, as he bragged to a friend in a letter written in 1500. A hundred Castellanos, is a Spanish coin, are as easily obtained for a woman as for a farm. And it is very general, and there are plenty of dealers who go about looking for girls, those from 9 to 10 years old are now in demand. Eventually, under Columbus's orders, life for the Taino on their homeland of Hispaniola became so bad that they resorted to mass suicide. As the Spanish miss missionary Pedro Cordoba noted in 1517, 25 years after Columbus arrived, as a result of the sufferings and hard labor they endured, the Indians choose and have chosen suicide. Occasionally, a hundred have committed mass suicide. The women, exhausted by labor, have shunned conception and childbirth. Many, when pregnant, have taken something to abort and have aborted. Others, after delivery, have killed their children with their own hands so as not to leave them in such oppressive slavery. By the time Cordoba wrote those words, the indigenous population on Hispaniola had plummeted from roughly three million people before Columbus arrived to only 12,000 25 years later. A few decades after that, not one Taino was left on the island. An entire culture and people completely wiped off the map and largely forgotten, thanks to Christopher Columbus. Happy Taino Genocide Day. 
And here is a few photos I would like to share with you guys. Bell, bell. And one says, thanks to Christopher Columbus, three million indigenous people were murdered, raped, tortured between 1494 and 1508, not to mention contracted European diseases such as syphilis, gonorrhea, diphtheria, and smallpox, to name a few. And here goes the other picture I would like to share with you. The biggest genocide in human history didn't occur in Nazi Germany, but on American soil. 100 million indigenous people were slaughtered and lost their homeland. Just to let y'all know, after watching this video, I hope you rethink about eating and coming together with your family because it doesn't necessarily have to be on Thanksgiving. Just remember that Thanksgiving and Columbus Day is where a lot, millions and billions of indigenous people were slaughtered and taken away from their families and their land was stolen. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't stop right there. It gets really fucking serious and it get, it's, it's getting out of, it's getting out of line. And guys, I'm, I'm warning you guys that you need to stock up on food because they're trying to block food being transported to over here because of people not, you know, taking their vaccine. And don't take my word for it. Check out this man and what he has to say. Hey, niggas be on Instagram like, we eating good. Oh, shit, not for long, nigga. Hey, y'all better stack up on food because they already taking shit off the shelves and certain cities already, man. Like I said, this whole food shortage, they cause this shit. They trying to make it like that. You know they got all these ships backed up in California on purpose, bro. They know they can dock these people. They talking about, oh, it less employees and shit like that. They don't be truck drivers and stuff like that. I'm like, fam, no, they ain't no excuse, my dog. You got, you got truck drivers. They just stopping shit on purpose. They're, they're stopping shit on purpose, bro. Because they want people to take that. And that's how. You don't get people to take the. You know what I'm saying? They're going to cause problems, bro. They want that. They want you to die at the end of the day. So stack up on food. Get your people together. Get with your child. Get with your mama. Get with your daddy or whoever. You know what I'm saying? That ain't take the shit. You know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, it's about to be time to survive, bro. You got to start doing for yourself. Only strong survive, bro. Try to tell y'all niggas. Listen to the motherfuckers that been researching the shit. Not been saying it, bro. Yeah. Okay, guys. One thing I would really like to mention is the critical race theory. Hmm, what is the critical race theory? Well, boom, here's a picture up here for y'all to see it. So y'all probably wondering, why am I mentioning critical race theory? Well, I feel that in schools, they should be, they should be to where we should be taught where we actually come from and what our people actually went through. You know what I'm saying? And um, I, I, I just think people, not even just people, families should have the right to be able to homeschool their children and to be able to teach their, their children exactly where they come from, what actually happened to their people and shit like that. Um, it dawned to me, it was um, Charlemagne was saying that um, systematic racism or whatever you could call it in whatever, I'm going to just call it systematic racism, where being taught their history in our curriculum and in public schools, private schools, we're being taught this, you know, and it's the same thing as like in private schools, we're being taught religion. You know what I'm saying? Why are we not able to be able to teach the true history as to where people come from, you know? I feel that people should have the right to know who they are, what type of people they really, you know, their true roots. And um, one thing I would like to say is um, we need to put a stop to the satanic rituals that we're completing, you know, actually find out what, what did our people actually celebrate? What did our people actually do? You know what I'm saying? Well, who, who, like, who are we, you know? And um, I don't think, I don't think it's right 
to not be able to teach others where, the, where their true nature. We're being taught somebody else's history instead of being taught where we come from. Like, for example, we have one month of Hispanic Heritage Month. We have one month of Black history. Why do we only have one month to celebrate? That just, that just doesn't make any sense to me, you know? I, I feel that our people, our people need to be recognized. You know what I'm saying? And um, it should go Araya X. And, you know, I just wanted to share a few informational facts for you guys to see, like, hey, like, damn, we've been lied to all of our motherfucking lives, like, literally. And um, it's right now, it is the, right now is the year of being able to process information. You know what I'm saying? And if you're not being able to process this information, if you're not processing this information now, there's no point of even teaching you. You know what I'm saying? It's like right in your face. It's not, it's not being hidden. It's, it's literally in your face now, you know, but. Um, Critical race theory teaches children as young as kindergarten to be ashamed of their skin color. It represents a full-throated assault aimed at the heart of the American experiment. And it's nothing short of state-sponsored and state-sanctioned racism. You talk about critical race theory, which is pretty much going to be teaching kids how to hate each other, how to dislike each other. That's pretty much what it's going to that's pretty much all I can say. It's pretty much what it's going to all come down to. You're going to deliberately teach kids this white kid right here got it better than you because he white. You're going to purposely tell a white kid, oh, the black people are all down and suppressed. How do I have two medical degrees if I'm sitting here oppressed? How do I get, first of all, time up, because I only got five minutes now, not five minutes. Two medical degrees. No mom, no dad in the house. Work my way through college. Sat there and hustled my butt off to get through college. You're going to tell me somebody that looked like all y'all white folks kept me from doing that? Are you serious? Not one white person ever came to me and said, well, son, you're never going to be able to get nowhere because you know the black people. But guess what? What's sickening about this whole thing is what y'all doing right now is already something I do in my community right now to speak out against stuff because black folks are getting told by other black folks, oh, you know you ain't going to be able to do nothing out there in the world because them white folks ain't going to let you get nowhere. Oh, you know you're not going to be able to do it here because you know, white, the, the white man, the white man going to keep you down. Well, how did I get where I am right now if some white man kept me down? How am I now directing over folks that look just like you guys in this room right now? How? What, what, what kept me down? What oppressed me? I work for myself from off the streets to where I am right now. You going to sit here and tell me this lie of critical race theory? Of this, this, this is the reason why black folks can't get ahead because of white folks? Are you kidding me? This is what we come to now. I can't believe we're even talking about this right now. The last thing I'm going to say right here is something that's crazy. Martin Luther King said he wanted his kids to grow up in a world where they are judged by the contents of their what? Character. Their character, not their skin. If they let this stuff go on right now, it is absolutely doing the complete reverse of what he's doing. So when February come, don't talk about Martin Luther King. When February come, don't talk about black history. Mother dog will sit there and just pee, must pee on his grave with this nonsense. That's exactly what's about to happen. Lastly, we are talking about our kids. We are talking about our children. What's so sickening about me, I love the Discovery Channel. You will see that on the Discovery Channel, animals will put their lives on the line to protect their children from yeah. danger. Nobody want to get to the heart of the matter, get to the meat of the matter, get to the moral of the story. It all comes down to it. The person that's going to be suffering from this, the one that's going to be hurt from this, is the kids. Yeah. Ten years from now, if this stuff goes on, whose fault is it going to be? Whose fault is it going to be? Who are we going to look back on and blame for this? Because this is stuff we're talking about right now. This stuff is going on right now. I do this stuff on a daily basis. I'm in the hood. I'm in the communities. I'm out there with folks in their face. I've been doing stuff since I was 18 years old, talking to black folks. And you know what? None of them are buying this nonsense. None of them are. But if you want to implement this into the school system, I guarantee you to the day that I die, I'm going to be the very person right there debunking stuff, tearing stuff down, letting them know they can do exactly what I did and get exactly where I am by putting themselves to work and getting there. And ain't not one white person ever going to keep any of them from getting there. So the CRT stuff, BS. Right, it's your girl Raya X. Make sure you cop your RSC motherfucking merch. You feel me? Rolling Stone Entertainment. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You heard me? You heard me? Make sure you follow Dizzy Hendo on Instagram. Make sure you go to Linktree slash Dizzy Hendo if you want to cop your RSC merch. This shit is fire. He got mad different colors. You feel me? Um, don't forget. See, my hat is not on right now, but you know. Make sure you copy your bucket hats. He got mad different types of colors. You know, I got the little orange hoodie. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You heard me? 
And um, he got mad different colors. He got purple, green, yellow, black, whatever color you looking for, baby, the motherfucker got it. The motherfucker got it. But make sure you cop that RSC merch. Make sure you follow Dizzy Hendo on Instagram. In case you don't know, the picture will be right here. I will also leave a link in the description to the link tree. If you guys want to look at the link tree, I will have a um, link up here for you. And also, if you're looking for... If you're looking for an interview, if you're looking for your music to be played, if you're looking to just be a guest on the Raya X show, make sure you visit RayaX.com. You heard me? And also you can email me again at xraya15. I will leave it down here for y'all in case y'all want to see it. It will be left in the description. And also, if you're looking to give donations to the show to help out so I can just be able to keep being great. I will leave my fucking cash app code right here for you in this corner, right here. So you guys can scan this right here and give donations to the show. And also, 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 don't forget, I love y'all niggas and y'all have a nice day. Don't get the vaccine, you can't go to the supermarket. Don't have the vaccine, you don't show it, can't go to the ball game. Don't have the vaccine, can't go to work. You don't have the vaccine, can't come here. No shirt, no shoes, no service. That's where I think we should be right now because we continue to waste our breath on people who are just not going to change. They're, you know, the circular logic. They just keep going back and saying, well, it's my freedom, it's whatever. I'm f <sighs> They are saying the quiet part out loud. They don't care about your freedoms. Their true colors are showing. They want to strip you of your freedoms and your autonomy and the ability to make choices for yourself. And they're not even hiding it anymore. This is America. So Gupta won on Joe Rogan's show, and Joe Rogan did what Joe Rogan always does. Fights back. And Sanjay Gupta sounded like a complete buffoon. Check this out. Why would they lie and say that's horse dewormer? I can afford people medicine. <laughs> this is ridiculous. It's just a lie. I don't think anyone is thick. But don't you think that a lie like that is dangerous on a news network when you know that they know they're lying? You know that they know that I took medicine. Like, here it is. This is ivermectin. You got this it with it right you. here. Somebody gave it to me. All right, hang on. I, I, do see, you, the, the thing is, we're, we're we're like going so fast. Like I feel like I'm missing. I'm missing. Do you think I want that to, that's a problem that your news network it was not, lies? Well, I don't. I don't. Think, Dude, what did they say? They lied what and they said say? I was taking horse dewormer. First of all, it was prescribed to me by a doctor. Yeah, yeah. Along they with shouldn't have said a it was bunch horse. of if, other if medications. Was, if you got a human pill because there were people that were taking it the veterinary medication and i you're not obviously you got it from a doctor so that it shouldn't be called that ivermectin can be a very effective medication for parasitic disease and as you say it's probably you know i think what a quarter billion people have taken it around the world more, i get that way more so way but, more can, billions can, of people have taken it can, can i just come back to the one i want to talk about I, two, no, no, two, no, no, two no, things no. on you the ledger to, you have before we get to that does it bother you that the news network you work for out and out lied, well, just outright lied about me taking horse dewormer. They, they they shouldn't have said that. Why did they do that? I don't know. You didn't ask? You I didn't think that was your, did, you're the medical guy over there. I, I didn't ask. I should have asked before coming on the podcast. But they did it with podcast. such glee. No, Yes, they did. I watched. That's what fighting back looks like. Dear white people. Yellow. You're gonna have to start raising hell. Why? Who won a championship or lost an election? This is not going to stop until you start standing up for yourself. What fight are we a part of in which we do not have the upper hand? And if you're one of those people who believes that you are inherently racist because of your skin color... Where are these people? Or actually refers to yourself as some shit like colonizer. Oh, I actually prefer snow roach or mayo monkey. Those are, those are my favorites. Publicly declaring your ability for self-hatred is not accountability. I hate myself for a number of reasons, but being white is not one of them. It's sad, it's pathetic, and it's disturbing. You know, what I've always found disturbing is the pure vitriolic hatred that people feel towards things like, I don't know, critical race theory, but not, you know, racists. It would seem that you don't even want accountability either. You just want to benefit off that same privilege that you were given at birth. And they will never pick you. Well, I don't love where this is going at all. No matter how much you pander to them because, honey, they fucking 
hate you. I was right. I do not like where it went. If by they you mean people of color, I don't think that they hate me because I'm white. I think they have a general distrust towards white people in general because, you know, we're not great at acknowledging the sins of our ancestors or how those specific sins benefit us specifically and negatively impact them, but continue. And if you're one of those people who gets off on that, if you're an emotional masochist with a particular fixation on race. Okay, you're literally describing no one. Don't you fucking dare drag the rest of us who just share your skin color down with you. Jesus Christ, that was frightening. Where is this coming from? Where did you get the motivation to make this video? Did someone call you a cracker directly before you stepped into your house? It would seem that you have some unresolved issues that I think that you need to address on your own. Maybe not take it out on other people, but you know, good talk. DJ Brian Fire song take away. Nick's play, hate the place, no bass. Yeah, pull up, yeah, big body space. Yeah, when the day hit, I need chips, don't lay. Huh? Yeah, the play shit. Rolling. You did. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I say new whip, new watch, new chain, yeah. new bitch, new thought, new brain, yeah. You going dumb, going nuts, insane. I'ma get the guap, run it up, insane, yeah. New whip, new watch, new chain, uh, new bitch, new thought, new brain, I'm yeah. going dumb, going nuts, insane. I'ma get the guap, run it up, insane. Yeah. Yeah. Truth be told, I might just go insane. Okay, I scoop the shawty just to get the brain. Going up too much, I feel it in my veins. We going up, yeah, yeah, the top is where we aim. Okay, it's new shit, make ways like cruise ships. You better move, bitch. The crew lit the shit like sewage, no substitution. We ball hard, and we ain't coming off the bench because we all stars. But you keep hating, same reason that you fall off. Damn, too bad, too sad. Still, son, niggas pop up around feeling like a dad. Run it up, get the cash. Add it up, do the math. Finna power up, ain't bout to guap, then that's a dub I need a new whip, new watch, new chain, yeah New bitch, new thought, new brain, yeah You going dumb, going nuts, insane I'ma get the guap, run it up, insane, yeah New whip, new watch, new chain, uh New bitch, new thought, new brain, I'm going dumb Going nuts, insane, I'ma get the guap, run it up, insane, hey, 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 Run it up, you saying All about the guap, if you not, you lame, yeah Hey, wait for me to flop, you playing, yeah. I can never stop to the top, no things, yeah Hey, you a lame, no need to say shit Wait a minute, niggas play, ain't that's a flake basic, I pull up in the big body spaceship When the pay hit, I need the chips, talking lays, bitch A save it, she give me brain like she from Cambridge The greatest, I bet they know just what the name is Rolling Stone, just turn it up, you gotta play this We dropping bombs, we hating niggas, they can't stand this I say new whip, new watch, new chain, yeah New bitch, new thought, new brain, yeah You going dumb, going nuts, insane I'ma get the guap, run it up, insane, yeah New whip, new watch, new chain, uh New bitch, new thought, new brain